and this one works for the soil. So this 26 year old Bati Tabinyang Alain from Cameroon is one of the 50 young Africans showcasing their climate change inspired innovations at this year's Young African Leaders Initiative program. Alain has developed a tool that helps farmers determine the viability of their soil for crop production. So they will be able to know what to plant, when to plant, what fertilizers to use, when to use it, and even on the pest. And moreover, it helps to give farmers informed decisions on disaster management. Innovators like Motia Inja Injobaya Felicia, also from Cameroon, are promoting the use of organic seeds and fertilizers among African farmers to withstand the impact of climate change. That is when it comes to my knowledge that no, we have common things around us like the foul droppings, we have the sunflower that we can use to produce organic liquid fertilizer which will now help to increase our output and it is climate friendly as well. Maxo Kojo Honu from Ghana says he has a solution to help slow deforestation that involves moving away from burning wood and instead produces clean cooking fuel from cassava peels and sawdust. By doing this, we are reducing indoor pollution that our mothers experience. We're also reducing the amount of trees that get cut. Then we're also turning this into an opportunity for young people to be employed and learn skills. The Yali Climate Tech Innovators and Leaders Program was announced during Vice President Kamala Harris's historic visit to Ghana in March this year. Participant Andel Imguni of South Africa says the three-week leadership and professional development training program held from October 11 to 27 gave her new ideas. So for me, acknowledging that I'm a social entrepreneur, I'm at the heart of the problems, but I'm not a tech person. So this program is aiming, I'm hoping to propel myself into that space and incorporate tech um, to solve these climate and social challenges simultaneously. Since 2015, the Yali Regional Leadership Centers in Africa have trained more than 7,800 young leaders. Julesa Othertin is the Mission Director of West Africa at the United States Agency for International Development, or USAID. She says organizers have high expectations from this year's participants. I want them to maintain the networks that they've, they've built here, but more than that, I want them to talk to other young people, other motivated young people, and help them uh, and transfer the skills that they've learned here and the knowledge that they've learned here uh, to other young people around the continent. The fellows say they already know their work is cut out for them as the impact of climate change is being felt, often with severe consequences around the world. Isaac Kalaji, VOA News, Accra, Ghana. Yeah.